Hello humans, Dr Kai, and I've already made videos about getting data mined wake exceptions and chemical manipulators in my FSD range modding series, um, but now I'm going to show you how to get arsenic and magnetic emitter coils. There are some tips and tricks to doing it more quickly, so let's go through them now. I've actually found a planet and a pair of coordinates on that planet to send you to to get arsenic in almost every drop. It's absolutely amazing. I don't think there's anything else like that in the galaxy. But before we get to that, let me just show you the quick trick of finding these things yourself, just in case it's too far. So to find the nearest arsenic to you, come to eddb.io forward slash body, type in arsenic in the material finder and where you are in the reference system and then click find bodies. It will then tell you the nearest system to you that contains arsenic and it will tell you the planet and it will also tell you the percentage. You want to aim for around 3% so maybe sort by that and then look for something that's nearby. A little tip I have is while you're at it, since you're going to be at it for an hour or two, you might as well type in another jump range material and find somewhere that has both in fairly good amounts. And the magical system I told you about is Cupiat 1B. If you head to these exact coordinates, 46.5 slash 127.2 inside a massive crater, you will find arsenic in almost every single drop, including bronzite chondrites. You can also head to 49 slash 113 for loads of polonium. I picked up 10 polonium drops, that's 30 polonium in under an hour. Arsenic is a common commodity, so you will find it mostly in mesocedarites as well as metallic meteorites and the second type of outcrop that give that pattern on the scanner. They should have it in about 50% abundance and this should be about two fifths. At the time of writing there's a wave scanner bug that leads to a lot of ghosts on the wave scanner so right now I wouldn't recommend going in a wing because that just really messes things up but generally speaking so long as they fix that bug going in a wing is a lot more productive because every single person in that wing generates their own instance in some sense or another and that in turn generates their own set of drops if they're all helping you then that quadruples the amount of drops that you should get roughly speaking it's also a lot more fun full of shenanigans and it really helps pass the time <laughs> That's arsenic, and now let's talk about the final one, magnetic emitter coils. They're just a commodity, so I suggest you save it to the last to save you lugging them around. You go to eddb.io forward slash station. This time you set the reference system as Desiat, so we can find the nearest one to there. You search for the commodity, magnetic emitter coils, and you do a simple find station. Check the landing pad is the right size, and go and collect, and you can now upgrade. You can now move on to the final video in this little playlist, which shows you all the tips and tricks about actually upgrading. But for now, so long humans.